When you see a watch on the internet that which you cannot afford at the moment, for now all you can do is dream of owning it one day. For example, edifice line of watches that have a stainless steel build but they cost a lot of money and most of you guys cannot afford such watches right now so all you do is buy the youth series watches um, or the vintage series watches that are either all resin or uh, resin with chrome plating. These watches will not cost you more than 3000 to 4000 Indian rupees or 50 American dollars. There is a huge market for watches that are affordable yet have stainless steel as part of their build. And again, when I say stainless steel, I don't mean the bracelet or the band. Casio is smart. I feel that they wanted to target this market segment. People who would not spend more than 3000 to 4000 Indian rupees or 50 American dollars but wanted a bit of stainless steel as part of the main unit of the watch. Let's now open the box. Namaste everybody. The Casio MWD 110H has been sitting on my desk inside the box for almost two months now but it is finally out. It can finally breathe. The Casio MWD 110H retails for Rs 3495 as per the Casio India website and $42.95 on the Casio US website. I bought this on Amazon for Rs 2097 when it was on sale from VRP Telematics Private Limited who are one of the authorized retailers for Casio in India. Let's look at the Casio MWD-110H up close for the first time here on TikTok Treasures. When I saw the product pics for this watch online, I thought it would be smaller on the wrist, but in, in reality, the MWD-110H is visibly bigger than my G-Shock G5600, which caught me by surprise. We will do the wrist check at the end, so wait for that. The case feels more like a square, like your regular G-Shock squares, although technically it's octagonal. The bezel is the distinguishing feature of this watch. At a lower price range, you are getting a brushed stainless steel bezel adding a premium touch to this watch. The illuminator and button labels are etched onto the bezel. The case back is standard vertically brushed stainless steel with four screws with standard engravings of the Casio branding, the model and module numbers, the water resistance value, the water resistance logo, and this one is made in China. The four buttons are set at an angle and the dedicated light button, the fifth button in the front is a good touch. The feedback on the operational buttons is slightly stiffer compared to the feedback on the plastic light button. If this watch came with a mineral crystal, this would have been the bomb. But it is resin glass, which I feel is good as surface scratches can be buffed right off. The glass sticks out past the level of the bezel ever so slightly. You don't just see this, but feel it too. I wish the crystal was recessed though, or at least at the level of the bezel like these two watches. Before I go on, I want to remind you guys that not this video, but the next video 
will be the giveaway video because we are celebrating crossing 5,000 subscribers. 5,000, that's crazy. So stay tuned for that. This time I'm choosing two winners, which means two people will stand a chance to win one watch each. Moving on to the next segment. As with most Casio watches, you can tell the features and the capabilities of the watch just by looking at the labels on the bezel and the face. The first label that strikes you is this illuminator label etched on the bezel. Let's now see how good or bad the light is. When you press the dedicated light button in the front, a single amber LED light glows at the 9 o'clock border, which kind of creates a gradient effect with the glow just about reaching the opposite border and you can definitely see those seconds ticking with this light. You can let go of the button as this watch has two seconds of afterglow. Next to the Casio branding here on the face, you can see the 10-year battery label which is always a positive. The MWD-110H has 100 meter water resistance and it says right here on the screen printed on the LCD. You can take this to recreational scuba diving. This is what's great about Casio watches. You get longer battery life and higher water resistance at lower price ranges compared to other brands that offer measly 30 meters or 50 meters water resistance for the same price. I wish this great trim didn't exist or was thinner exposing more of the LCD, but it's just me. Here we are. This is the main timekeeping mode. At the top, you see day of the week, month and date. It's Wednesday, the 13th of March. Below the date, we have the label of water resistance 100 meters printed onto the LCD. And next to the water resistance label, you have the hourly chime being enabled. Below that, you see that um, you see the animated graphics moving. It kind of looks like a battery that is charging in real time, but it is not. It just denotes the passing of 10 seconds in the main timekeeping mode. And next to that here you have this window that is divided into four segments that is just to tell you what mode you are currently in and be below in the main field of the lcd you have the current time being displayed in big bold digits i love it let's check the next mode by pressing the mode button here when we press it it takes you to the timer mode how do we know that we are in timer mode you can see that TR being enabled. Let's check the timer. Oh, and in the timer mode, you can see the current time being displayed here at the top, including the seconds, which is cool. Let's start the timer. Oh, okay, the current time um, disappears when we start the timer, which is not good because there are other modules which have current time being displayed throughout even when the timer is running. Reset the timer and let's move to the next mode by pressing the mode button. Oh wait, that's weird. So wait, other Casio watches or even G-Shocks, when we are done using a particular mode, you reset it and you press the mode button. It takes you to the next mode, but here it takes you back to the home timekeeping mode. So it's different, but it's cool. Okay, let's go back to the mode. We, we are done with the timer. The next one is the stopwatch, which is the chrono mode. Again, just like the timer, when it is not running, you can see the current time being displayed at the top. Right, let's start the timer. Sorry, the stopwatch. It's running. The cool graphics. The passing of, I think, one, two seconds. This graphics here, I don't know stop reset okay once you reset when the stopwatch is not running the current time is being displayed again okay i feel that if you press the mode button it takes you back to the timekeeping mode there you go yes it does okay this is so different from other watches where when you're done using a mode and you reset it and you press the mode button it takes you to the next mode instead of the timekeeping but here it, it brings you back to the timekeeping so we'll have to try it again you're done with these two the next one is the alarm it has a single alarm so all you have to do is press adjust in the alarm mode sorry okay press it press and hold what is happening wait a minute why is this not working
okay whoo that took a while okay so in the alarm mode you can just you know um, set an alarm for whatever time when you're done press the adjust once and you are done when you press the mode button it takes you back to the timekeeping mode I find it irritating um, the fourth one is a dual time so you can set a time for another city time zone so you can keep track of it whether it's work related or someone you love lives in a different time zone so you want to keep track of that time or, or time zone or city then you can use a dual time feature and if that DT is enabled here it tells you that this is the dual time being displayed but then it's really cool that when you are in dual time, your current time is displayed at the top. That is your local time, your home city time is displayed at the top in the dual time mode. And you press the mode button once more, it brings you back to the home timekeeping mode. The strap is standard resin and makes the watch lay flat on a flat surface. The resin feels heavy duty and is square through and through, which means it doesn't taper. Let me now wear this watch for the first time. I have a wrist measuring 6.8 inch and this is definitely bigger than G-Shock. It looks like one of those G-Shocks with metal bezel. Feels very light on the wrist. The thickness along with the stainless steel bezel gives it a premium look, makes it look like it should cost more than it does. You are definitely getting total bang for your bucks. You are getting a watch that looks premium, but it is just another affordable Casio watch. In conclusion, you get value for money with the Casio MWD-110H because you get all the basic functions that a digital watch needs to have. A decent LED with two seconds afterglow that can be turned on with a dedicated light button in the front has a stainless steel bezel that adds the premium factor to an affordable watch and looks like a G-Shock on your wrist. One of our loyal subscribers has a subreddit watches underscore India and I think you guys need to go join that sub. My favorite part of the sub is that they make watch recommendations not just from reputable brands but also from micro brands from across the globe i have seen some watches and some micro brands i hadn't even heard of uh, before so i think you guys should join the sub and you know take part in the discussions on a daily basis speaking of subreddit we have our own sub tiktok treasure so please join our community and our community members post about their watches their collections on a daily basis and we have some fun in the comment section some banter going on and also when people find sales or deals happening on watches anywhere they post about it so you are informed and if you have the money you know you might just get it so please join our community TikTok treasures as well on Reddit. Thank you for joining us today for the unboxing of Casio MWD-110H. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more watch related content like this. Until next time, stay tuned and stay classy.